Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to find the first occurrence of the given element in an array without using any algorithm. That means, let's say there is an array like this, and user has inputted a number say five. Now we need to find the first occurrence of this number five. Starting from this place, we'll compare. Five is five matching with this uh, first element in the array? No. So is five matching with the second element in the array? No. Then five matching with the third element? Yes. And also fourth and fifth, sixth elements also are matching, guys. Okay, with this five. But using this Java program, we should only find the first occurrence only. Even though this five is uh, repeated multiple times in this array, we need to find the first occurrence of this five in the array. So at which index this first occurrence of five occurred in this array? 0, 1, 2 at the index 2. So we should be printing this. The given number 5, which got inputted by the user, is available in the array at the index 2. We should be printing in the output. This should be the output, guys. So let's start writing a program, Java program, for making this possible. So first of all, let's create the array, guys. Integer array is equal to this array. This is a sample array or example array. Now, next thing is we need to collect the input from the user. Okay, we need to ask the user to input any number. So in order to intake any number or input into the Java program, we need to create an object for the scanner class like this. In order to in intake any input given by the user while running the program, we need to create an object for the scanner class like this for the modern scanner, import it from java.util. And this constructor cannot be empty. We have to provide it with uh, system.in inside that. Now we need to write a print statement saying system.out.println enter any number enter any number that's it this this will be fine so here user will try to input a number guys user may enter five or he may enter some number which is even not available in this array also that, that is also fine let's say the user is trying to input a number five this number we have to intake into our program for that we need to use a scanner object and call this method known as next int because next int method of the scanner class will accept integer values as inputs Okay, as input, this next int will accept the integer numbers. That's why we have to call the next int. Once this next int command captures this or captures this uh, or intakes this uh, number five, we can store that into a variable, guys. I'll store that into a variable like number. I'm just giving the name of the variable as num and we can store there. Now let's write the logic for finding the first occurrence. of the given number in the array, okay? First occurrence of a given number in the array. Done. Now, how to do that? So this number we have to check with each and every element in this array. How to check that? We have to write like this for starting with the for loop uh, with the index i is equal to zero. i stands for index here, zero. At the zeroth index, we'll start. And uh, from starting index onwards, we'll compare this number with the elements like that till the end of the array. Till the end of the array, last elements index will be the size of the array minus one. Okay, you can say a less than or equal to, or if you don't want to give minus one, you can simply say i less than a dot length and semicolon i plus plus. Simple. Go inside the for loop. We'll go inside the for loop. Save it. Now, each and every index of this array element will check with this number, guys. I'll simply say if starting with the index 0, we'll start, right? If number is equal to double equal to a of i, in any case, if this number is equal to a of i, then we can directly print it out saying system.out.println the given number. What is the given number, guys? this number is available in the array at the index. Which index is at the index? This i index plus i we have to say. That's it. Now, after doing so, we should only print the first occurrence. If you don't break this for loop, this for loop will repeat again. This number will be occurring 
multiple positions that's why we have to break it guys we have to break the for loop we have to come up to the for loop that's it after printing this after you find the required number in the first occurrence of the given number in the array simply print it and break break the for loop we come out of the for loop and there's one more thing you can do is that is uh, you can set this thing there are some chances where like uh, the given number may not be available completely in the array okay for example if the user will give something like uh, 23 is 23 available in this array no in that case let's print out something like uh, the given number is not available in the array for that reason what we can do is we can write a boolean statement here boolean is found is found initially we'll set it as false okay by default is found is false now whenever we run this for loop and if we find this number matching this uh, array element then simply we'll set this is found as is found as true like this true we'll set it in the case if the number is matching and the first occurrence is done then we'll set is found as true and then break the for loop now at the after at the end of the for loop what we'll do is we'll simply write this if not of is found if the number is not found this means not of is found means if is found is false then it will go inside the if condition then we'll print out saying the given number the plus num is not found in the array or available in the array anything is fine available in the array like this then we'll simply so this is done guys the logic is done for uh, checking the first occurrence okay finding the first occurrence of the given element in the array but before i run this code let me close this scanner object guys as part of the best practices after intaking all the inputs from the user we have to simply close this scanner object is not mandatory but we have to close for as part of the best practice now run this code the java program will ask the user to enter any number let's say we enter the number 5 which index should be printed guys when i press enter here after entering 5 0 1 2 first occurrence of this 5 in the array is 2 index so the given number 5 is available in the array at the index 2 that's working perfectly fine now let's run it again and this time i'll give some number which is not available in the array let's say 23 the given number 23 is not available in the array this proves that the java program that we have written is working perfectly fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to find the first occurrence of the given element in the array without using any algorithm guys so that's it guys thank you bye